Alice. Alice. It's right up Debbie's alley because with little Alexandra, you've got to, right, know some good, simple baby food. That's yeah. right. But I've never known baby food to smell so delicious. It's delicious. Can you smell the house how wonderful it is? I'm joined by mother and owner of the organic, or we are joined by mother and owner of the organic baby food company, Simple. We welcome Nicole to be Ola to our, our, our kitchen. And you're going to be making something, uh, a pureed food for babies. And I'm glad, Debbie, you're joining here because yes. I know you have a lot of questions to ask her about uh, baby food for babies. I am. You know, there's a common misconception that baby food should be bland, but no, it should be tasty and good just like you or we all like our food. And why did you start this company in the first place? Well, when I was cooking my son's baby food uh, many moons ago. <laughs> what, how old is he? Seven now? He's seven okay. now. Oh. Yeah, I was in the kitchen and I found that it was. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, oh my there goodness. There he is. Oh, I just oh, want to eat him. Family. Um, and I was in the kitchen, I found that it was a really kind of time consuming process, which was fine with me because I like cooking. So it was like my time out. I'd have a glass of wine and cook. It was great. <laughs> um, but I realized at that time that there are a lot of moms that don't want to cook or are working or are tired or are busy. Mm -hmm. And their only choices were to go to the grocery store and get those pure or those processed baby foods right. or to make it themselves. So I wanted to do an in between for those moms and um, help them out. How did you? When I was a kid, when I was a kid, children. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. So many more options now, right? Yeah. I know. But you look at this because it has garlic, mm -hmm. salt. Is this pepper? Yeah. There's no salt. No salt. I until mean, I'm garlic. Yes. Um, this is pepper and garlic powder is here and onion powder. It's a lot of. Um, Spices. Or spices for a yeah. baby. And there's tomato and, and, and beans. So this, How did you figure out what would be all right for their tummies? So this is a stage three puree. Um, around Stage three is 10 plus months. But stage two, you can add spices, garlic, onion, any spice really, except for uh. salt and sugar. No salt and sugar till they're 12 months old. But um, you want the food to have flavor and taste. And you can Parmesan cheese. Oh. Um, and then you just kind of adjust the recipe to where your baby's at. Well, why don't we bring it in for everyone to right. taste? So New Year's is right around the corner, so we're making a New Year's baby dish? We are, we are, we are. Because Ooh, it's like pate. Baby yeah. food it is. bruschetta. <laughs> Black-eyed peas are supposed to bring luck in the new year if you eat them. Stewed tomatoes are supposed to bring health, and collard greens are supposed to bring wealth. We're going to give oh, our parents all three. Oh We're all right. doing a pork tenderloin pork. with pork tenderloin. black-eyed peas and collard greens. It's a good Jill, what do you think? Yeah. It's amazing. It is. Yeah, no, it's big. Well, the baby doesn't get the baguette, but yeah, mm. basically. It's so flavorful. Yeah. It's very oh, good. flavorful. So. Wow. By the way, I noticed too when we when when my little guys were getting onto the solid food texture also was when they get texture in their mouth. Yes. I have the video I have to bring in one time with with my son Kai. Yeah. It was so bizarre when he started having food. Yeah, but you had. want them to chew. I mean, the very first stage, there it's a really thin consistency. But stage two and stage three, they sh this is stage three, so it's very textured. They should be well, chewing at this point. What, 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 is the, what are the nutritional benefits of this versus something they buy in the store? Yeah. Well, it's got twice the nutritional value of processed baby foods because it's um, homemade. Just by that's what research shows us that it would take two pouches of this of the processed foods versus mm -hmm. just the one because it's got the protein in it. And as you can see, we've already browned our pork tenderloin with half a tablespoon of rosemary <laughs> and a tablespoon oh of sage. We took that out and now our onions, carrot, and celery. Our onions, carrot, and celery are softened. They've been in there for about five minutes. So we're going to add my favorite smell in the world. Appetizers New Year's Eve. I know, you're like kidding. Really delicious. Really good appetizers. Mm. Yeah. They're really good. Yeah. And thyme and bay leaf to it. And we're going to give that a stir. That's amazing. Did you, add, amazing. did you put a little oil? What did you put wow. in there? Wow. That's got um, two tablespoons of uh, extra virgin olive oil, and we cooked the pork in there first, so it's got a little pork oil in there, okay. too. And you can change that out to um, chicken if you don't eat pork, or you can change any of them. This is very, very good. Yeah, my dad has Parkinson's, and he has a swallowing oh, thing. Right. Yes. This is a Fabulous thing! Wow. Well, I can, we can, Great idea. we can definitely do that. So this is a one-pot meal. We've got all that that's been going in there for five minutes. We're going to add in our can of tomatoes, which was 14 ounces. We're going to add in a cup of chicken stock. Yum yum yum! It's almost like a stew. Lucky baby! No one kids don't like their baby food because it's so bland. Yeah. Frozen black-eyed peas because we don't want to soak these things forever in a day. What do you need? What do you need? All the rest of our garlic powder. Wow. I'm surprised and you put kale? pepper in it. I Onion love that powder. You put pepper. And a, a pinch of pepper. 
No salt. No salt. It doesn't I'm need sorry. it. It doesn't. No, it doesn't. Mm. It doesn't need it. No, it doesn't. Did I okay. say salt? And then we're going to cover it. <laughs> and we're going to let that cook so that those... Oh, wait. i got to add my pork back in. What am I yeah. thinking? <laughs> now pork goes in. That, those will wait. We're going to cover that for 25 minutes so the beans get cold. And let's pretend that 25 minutes goes by, shall we? Okay. <laughs> and we'll put the greens in after 25 minutes. And what greens are those? These are collard, collard greens. Collard greens, okay. okay. And in the South, you'd actually make this with... Um, like ham hock or yeah. s or bacon, mm -hmm. and but lots of salt. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, there's lots of nitrates and sodium sure. yeah. in, yeah. in uh -huh. those. So we just went for pork. I pork. suppose you could use spinach too if you wanted to, and yeah. a leafy green. That you exactly. Want. And after so that? after that, after that's done, we're, we would blend it up into our food processor, or our baby puree, or any of that good stuff, and we have a delicious, delicious. baby food puree. How many different types of baby puree do you make? All of oh. which are food companies. There, there is. Yeah. <laughs> Many, let's see, there's at 50. Wow. Yeah. And how long will something like this last? Yeah. Do you how make do you a store? batch? How three do you months. Store? It lasts three months in the freezer. So this actually, this recipe here makes nine pouches of food or two ice cube trays if you use the ice cube trays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so you would just pop those out as you go. And, you know, people get intimidated by homemade because they think, oh, it's not convenient. But right. actually, or you, you get this, a little pouch, or you pick up packages convenient. like this. This is incredible. Look I think you could put this on the menu at yeah. a restaurant. Yeah, you could. Just yeah. Yeah. call it yeah. baby yeah. puree or anything. Sweet. like that and you'd be fun. this is wonderful. Debbie you should save this for Alexandra yeah. Calliope when she's ready to have this yeah. food. And why, food, why food. and why should kids why the freezer. Just have something right. Right. save it for her I'm gonna have it on New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> Details of this recipe available on our Pinterest page you can sign up for Nicole's services by going to simplebabyfoods.com it's all there. This Amazing. is great Nicole. thank, thank you so, so much. Delicious. We're coming back and the woman with a green thumb is gonna help a green our house surely. I hope so you know ferns have survived on Earth for millions of years by themselves. But I'm going to show you how you can keep those ferns alive in your home.